most people have no idea you can actually measure your brainwaves at home. And I thought the same. I always imagined you'd have to go to some professional scientific lab and get your head into this huge machine. And it's not just stress levels or sleep stages, it's actual brainwaves in real time. That is exactly what the Musatina headband does. And it's probably one of the most unusual and fascinating devices that I ever tried. I tested the direct feedback meditation, sleep tracking, digital sleeping pills, and how sleep tracking compares to my trusted Whoop MG. Now, full disclosure, I got the review unit for free. I didn't get paid for making this video, so I have full freedom to say exactly what I want. Should you get one? How does it work? And how good is it? I'm gonna tell you what I love about it, but also about some of the issues that I found with it. Let's dive in right now. Brainwaves. What exactly are brainwaves? They're basically patterns of different electrical activity in your brain, and different brainwaves correspond to different states of mind. Delta waves are the slowest, linked to deep sleep and recovery. Theta waves are a bit faster, often connected to relaxation, creativity, and the drowsy just before sleep state. Alpha waves show up when you're calm but alert, like during meditation. Beta waves are tied to focus, problem solving, and sometimes stress. And gamma waves are the fastest, often linked to learning, memory, and peak cognitive performance. Athena can pick up on all of these, so you're not meditating blindly. You can actually then see in real time which brainwave was in which state during which stage of the meditation. And that is really impressive. So what is Athena? I would say it's a meditation support device. It gives you direct feedback to what your brain is doing. Some people, when they try meditating for the first time, they kind of feel like they might have had some effect and maybe calmed down the brain a little bit, but they're not sure. Oh, nice. I'm not thinking for so long. Oh wait, that was a thought. Or was it? Here it's pretty easy to spot. And I think that direct feedback makes it very easy to train your mind to meditate better and get into those different states of mind that you want to achieve through meditation easier and faster. It's a headband that combines EEG, which measures your brain electrical activity, with something called FNIRS. It's a technology that looks at the blood flow in the brain. Think of it as a spotlight. It shows which parts of your brain are working harder at any given moment. Together, it gives you a surprisingly detailed picture of what's happening in your mind while you're awake, meditating, or sleeping. Normally, this kind of brain imaging is only available in scientific-looking research centers. But somehow Muse has packed it in into this little device. And you can put that device on at any moment, at home or at the beach. This is how it looks like. It came in this nice paper box and inside it was vacuum sealed. That's a really nice touch. It weighs 41 grams and is made from soft, comfortable fabric. It has all the electronics on the front, which positions it on your forehead. Okay, let's talk about my experience with it. The headband needs a mobile app to work. It connects to the app using Bluetooth and then it enables you to use your mind to influence the meditations. After a quick setup and onboarding, I was thrown into a meditation where I was sitting down in a tropical rainforest hearing the sounds of a heavy rain. But the more quiet my brain became, the more the rain subsided into a drizzle and some birds chirping started to appear. The more the thoughts returned, the heavier the rain became again. And that was pretty magical. I wasn't really believing my ears at first. Like, my brain is doing something and it just directly changes the sound in real time. But I normally have a pretty steady, pretty calm mind. So I tested this with my wife as well, because she has that rushing stream of thoughts all the time. And yes, the whole experience for her was different. There was a lot more of that heavy rain and completely different changing patterns of where it subsided into the drizzle, where the birds were chirping and when it returned back to the heavy rain. 
And there are many different meditations like that. Some are guided, some are soundscapes, and they're all synced to what your brain is doing and reacting to it in real time. I'll have to go through more of them to be able to see if there was any long-term meaningful change in how my brain works. But having that direct feedback, you know, just thinking something and then it happens and then you react to it, think something else or relax the brain and something else happens. It's a really great way to ease yourself into the meditative state. Because with this, you just kind of know what you're doing. You don't have to feel, you don't have to assume. Let's talk about sleep. You can track your sleep automatically by having the device turned on on your head and then just going to sleep. It will detect you falling asleep automatically, but you can also use special sleeping meditations called digital sleeping pills. They range anywhere from 20 minutes to a little over an hour and they're different. There are soundscapes, there is yoga nidra or NSDR. There are multiple different kinds, so it's not the same thing over and over which makes it interesting i don't really have trouble falling asleep but those 20 minute ones were suiting me the best because i was usually asleep slightly faster than i normally would have been and well before those meditations ended when it detects that you've fallen asleep it quiets down the volume and the audio of the phone so it won't wake you up that's pretty smart compared to the whoop mg which i also wear to bed every night the sleep tracking is really accurate and according to science, Athena is way more precise in measuring your sleep stages than the WHOOP, but what I found interesting is that those results were very similar. They were around 5 minutes off in every sleep stage and 5 minutes off in the total sleep time, but it was close enough. There is definitely more precision in those specific sleep stages from what the band gives you than from what the WHOOP gives you, but it's a nice comparison to see that both detected the sleep stages in roughly the same spots. The only thing that I found odd is that the headband detected a much higher heart rate in the second half of the night compared to the whoop which kind of kept it steady throughout the night but it might have been because the device has shifted when i was shifting positions in bed it also tracks your sleeping position so whether you're on your back on the side which side for how long and that ends up with a huge amount of data which is the heart rate the different brain waves the different sleep stages the positions the calmness and here we get to the biggest problem that I have with this device. I think the biggest problem with Athena is not the device itself. It's the mobile app. The device is super well made, super robust. The meditations are nice as well. And the app provides you with a lot of data after each session. All the brain waves, all the patterns, everything is in there in nice graphs and charts. But the problem with it is that it's not explained. There are no insights, there is no analysis. So you just look at the whole throw of data and you start to get confused. Like, what is all that? Is it normal? Is it good? Is it bad? What should I improve? How? Why? Once I took screenshots from the app of all those graphs and then just uploaded it to any AI model, it gave me a nice human-friendly explanation of what happened and that it's all normal, but also at the same time how those different brainwaves react and overlap. Because most people can't really parse that information. They can't just look at a graph of messy brainwaves and just say to themselves, yeah, this is where I had those vivid dreams. And right now you don't have that insight anywhere unless you take screenshots and use AI to just kind of parse it for you. And I know that I can look at the app from a different perspective because I've been a professional app designer for the last two decades so I'm not a regular user and I see and spot patterns in digital products like that. But I like this device so much that I actually took some time to redesign the summary screen a little bit, just a little part of it to show how those insights would make for a very very nice experience. I hope Muse implements that soon. Also, the battery life is around 10 hours, which means that if you plan to take it to bed, you better charge it beforehand. Optimally, it would be 16 to 24, but maybe we'll get there in the next version. 
So should you get one? The app is currently the only issue I have with it, but it's not a huge issue because you can always update the app. You can hook up an LLM to analyze the data for you and do a lot of other things like that. So that's pretty simple. The device itself is really solid. And it's also quite magical to be able to steer your thoughts and have direct feedback happening as you do it. Yeah, that feels like we're already living in the future. I think this is a perfect meditation support device because it gives you that direct feedback so you know what you're doing. You can learn to meditate better in the future and that will calm your mind even more and then you'll be meditating even better. And even though meditation is not about competing with anyone, it's still really good to know that what you're doing is actually having an effect. I didn't get paid for making this review, but you can get a new Athena device yourself with an affiliate link in the description of this video. If you're into meditation and if you're into making your brain better, I think this is a very, very good device. I'm going to continue to experiment with it further and I'm definitely going to buy my own. First impressions, however, really good.